Okay, we would continue and conclude another great week. Baruch Hashem. Five minutes a day. I don't know about you. I know myself. Every time I go dive back into the Sharm Betfila, learning Rav Pincus' works, I find myself that I just see a little bit every day. I'm having a little bit more. It's like, it could be a dot of so five seconds. You know, something in davening, you know, awakens a little bit when you put a little bit of focus and emphasis on it. So today, Rav Shem Shem Pincus continues in the Pirkei Psich over here. And he says, yesterday we learned how tefillah is a conversation. That as real as this feels between me and you, that we see each other and we're conversing, but it's not as real as if you'd be sitting right in front of me. And that's the point, the place that we have to get to, that when we're talking to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we have to envision with reality that He's right there in front of us. And He continues and He says that the way to grow in our tefillah is to learn some of the nuances. And the more you know about something, the greater it is. We'll begin with his muscle. He says, imagine you never drove a car in your life. So, you know, maybe let's modernize it a little bit. You never drove an airplane. I don't know who's here, but uh, I don't think we've ever driven an airplane, fl- flown an airplane. So imagine we never flew in an airplane and we get inside one of these newfangled uh, cool airplanes that, you know, are going to take care of themselves. And we get in and we kick the airplane into first gear. I don't know if that's how you drive an airplane, but I'm going to try. You kick the airplane into first gear and you start soaring and you're like, wow, you're flying. And you're like enjoying the views and you're like flying. And you go and you take a circle, a spin around the block and you press the button, it lands and you get out. And you tell the guy, wow, that was amazing. You know how fast they went? And the guy's laughing. And you're like, what's so funny? He's like, fast. You're like, yeah, I, I was going 100 miles an hour. I saw that dial. He said, but did you notice that the dial was only at the beginning? You're like, yeah, whatever. He said, you were only in first gear. If you would have kicked it to second, to third, to fourth, imagine in a car, you stayed in first gear the whole time. You feel like I'm going so fast. In relation to what? In relation to walking, in relation to your bicycle. But are you really going that fast? Says of Shim Shim Binkis, when we learn every nugget of tefillah, every detail, it's a new world that opens up for, for us. And he gives us an incredible example. Says the Arizal the following. This is Gemara and Brachas that says that if you dive in and you're not answered, what should you do? Dive in again. So, okay, I think we've heard that. Dive in, dive in. We beg Hashem. We ask Hashem. Our Father, we always keep on pushing. Says the Arizal, that's not what the Gemara means. What the Gemara means is if you dive in and you're not answered, dive in again, meaning... Chazar Sashats. Listen to the Chazar Sashats. And via the listening, it's as if you davened, teaches the Gemara and Brachas, that's how your tefillah will be answered. So all of us who didn't know this, maybe feel or felt that Chazar Sashats is a time, I don't know, look in a safer, unfortunately maybe check our phone, maybe walk outside for a minute, maybe even, you know, talk a little bit, because we feel, we davened. Now the Shats is davening. But now that we realize, one second, that's a new world. We're in first gear. Our tefillahs are stuck in first gear. They're incredible. They're amazing. We're opening up the heavens. Everything is coming. But wait, maybe that thing that you're looking for, you know how it's going to come to you? It's going to come by Chazar Sashatz. You're mispalel v'loinana, daven again by listening. So when we don't know that, we can't be faulted. But our car is in first gear, our airplane is going 100, but it's not going 1,000. So the more we learn, and the little bit of nuggets, of ideas, of everything that we add on, opens up totally new worlds each and every time. And he continues, and with this he concludes, and he says, so how do we do it? How do we do it? How do we come to this level of kavana? How do we come to this place that when we start Shemun Asrei, we mamish envision Hashem's right in front of us. He says, you know what the Eitzah is? A very simple Eitzah. One of the most difficult dates in the world. He says, you know what the Eitzah is? Time. Designate time. Likbaya zmanim for time. And he says, you know for what? Not while you daven. Because while you daven, we all know whether the minion is slow, whether the minion is fast, which he's going to deal with in a little bit. But we're in the middle of davening. He says, you have to have a time set aside for tefillah outside of tefillah. Like we're doing right now. This is a five minute time that we're thinking about tefillah so that when we get to our next tefillah, our tanks aren't empty. We filled it up with something and now Hashem is a little bit closer. And if we were to spend a few moments before every tefillah, for every Shemun it could be a few seconds. 
we'll see that slowly these ideals will become more real each and every day. Chavra, have a wonderful rest of your afternoon.